Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I turned 3D prints into metal using a cheap and easy method called Lost PLA Shell Casting. In my last video, I demonstrated Lost PLA Shell Casting by casting this aluminum bust. I wanted to try and push the limits of this method by casting something a little more difficult. I thought this dual threaded bolt by G Vera on Thingiverse would be a good model to try because it's fairly detailed and the nuts have a thin cross-sectional width. One of the biggest challenges with this process is printing a model with as few walls and as little infill as possible. It took me a while to figure out the best way to print these models and I went through quite a bit of trial and error to make it work. I ended up printing the nuts with one wall and two top and bottom layers. The bolt was a little more difficult. The head was printed with 5% infill and the threads were printed with a single wall. I also printed some hollow tubes to act as sprues, vents, and feeders. Once everything was done printing, I melted a hole at every joint to ensure that as the mold is being filled, the gases have a clear path to escape through. With this method, it's important to fill the mold from the bottom to the top. This way, as the plastic is melted, all the molten plastic, smoke, and gases safely exit out the vent. I coated the entire model with this DAP brand joint compound, making sure to avoid trapping bubbles and also making sure to apply an even but thin layer. Once the joint compound was completely dry, I started mixing the sand. This concrete sealer is 100% sodium silicate and it's great for mold making because it hardens in the presence of CO2. I mixed some play sand and sodium silicate together and then gently pressed it into the threads of the nuts and then let it harden up for a few minutes. Then I mixed up a large batch of sand and sodium silicate and used it to bury the whole model. I gently packed the sand down, making sure to not crush the model. I placed a steel can around the sprue to help guide the metal as it's being poured. I only showed one mold being made, but I used the same process for both. Once the molds were finished, I melted a hole in the sprues and vents. I did this last to prevent sand from falling into the molds. Then I placed some covers over the vents to prevent molten plastic from splashing up towards me. For this casting, I used aluminum that came from car rims, which is an alloy called A356. Unlike aluminum cans or aluminum extrusions, this aluminum is great to cast with because it's an alloy that's specifically designed for casting. I 
I melted the aluminum in my homemade furnace and let it heat up to around 1500 degrees Fahrenheit or 800 degrees Celsius and then poured it into the molds. About an hour later, I pulled the castings out of the sand to see how they turned out. I wasn't totally confident that these castings would turn out well, but they actually look great. Look at how much detail the joint compound captured. Most of the layer lines in the 3D prints are still visible. These castings didn't require all that much finish work, but I still spent a few hours filing and sanding them smooth. I'm really happy with how well these turned out. Considering that these were cast using materials that can be purchased at most hardware stores, I think they look great. You can see that a certain portion of the threads on the bolt are not as sharp at the end as they are at the head. I believe this is because the metal was a little too cool to completely burn away the plastic. You can also see that the top of both nuts, relative to how they were oriented in the molds, didn't quite join. This happened for the same reason, but I think they look good enough for what they are. Let me know if you guys want me to try casting this model again, using bronze and ceramic shell, to try and cast it as perfectly as possible. I think this would be a really cool project. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.